the miners have thrown out accidentally or good opals that were thrown out or some that are so even here okay that are not worth anything to them this room in summer is quite cool well it'll be 40 degrees outside and about 24 in here Malak heaps, opal malak heaps here in White Cliffs, New South Wales. is famous for opal, all sorts of different opals. <laughs> and right now I am noodling. Noodling for opal means looking on the surface of the ground to find little bits of color of opal or opal chips that the miners have thrown away. So this is open to the public, but you just have to watch out for existing mining claims. There are current mining claims that are around in the area, so you have to be aware of where you are because there's posts to the different claims here. And also you got to watch out for the holes or the shafts because some of them can be quite deep and you can easily break your neck if you're walking around noodling, jumping from one malachite or mounds to another and then you can easily fall off and hurt yourself. We've been coming here for years and years and years. Every year it's getting harder and harder to find even the smallest bits of potch. Potch are basically opals with no color. So, but in here, look, there's a piece of potch here on the ground. So these are just glassy rocks I call them. So when you're looking for opals it's basically I always say that look for potch and in the chance to be in the chance of finding opals that the miners have thrown out accidentally or good opals that were thrown out or some so even here okay that are not worth anything to them. So because they're mainly looking for big pieces hang on there's another big piece here. This is just potch and sometimes they can have colors in them and other times there's not. So this one 
I still sort of collect them if they're big pieces like that, big pieces of porch. And then is this another, oh my goodness, are you a porch? So this is another big piece of porch. Uh, oh my, hey, here, I, here I am saying there's none. <laughs> and then I turn the camera on and I find porch. So mainly I look for porch. And this one, they're little chips of porch. And if there's no porch, no opals. So, oh, hang on, this one has got a bit of color. Look at that. Oh no, it's also a potch as well. I'll just pile them all up there. See if I can find some more potch. Oh, okay, ooh, that's a bit of opal or potch. Yeah, potch, another potch. There you go, my potch pile is piling up. Tweezer is good for picking them up. Hang on, what else? Ah, uh, more potch. So I'm just mainly picking up some with colors. And even the potch that's got color. But the little bits is good practice. I know some people would probably clean this all up. But it's good practice to leave some for others. So that others can have fun as well. Hang on. So here, okay, I just saw something further up. There you go, that one there. Another thicker piece of porch and if there's a little bit of color in them I keep them but if it's just mainly porch then I let them be and every now and then you sort of find a piece of porch like this that looks like a piece of porch but you turn it on the side and it's showing nice green flash of color you see that one my hands are shaking. <laughs> okay, so into my container. So little bits like that, leave it. But if I find tiny little chips, like even that one's got a bit of color. This is just like a purple potch. I keep them because I put them in a bottle and give it to the grandchildren. And those ones got no color, so we leave it. And every now and then, you try and dig up something maybe buried in the ground with a big piece of potch but this is just nothing so anyway so that's the whole idea so I already find or found my opal for the day so far that nice colored one hang on did I also find another small bits here look another bit showing a little bit of bluish color that's it. I'm going to keep noodling. And also, a certain time of the day is better than others. Uh, early in the morning, I find for me, the sun works against me and also late in the afternoon. So, about 10 o'clock up to about 3 o'clock is the best time for noodling for opals. I'm walking through the willows. Uh, Toilet paper in there. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that, very fancy huh, for the opal mining area. I thought you leave tough here. Well, you call this tough. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at the stone oh, wow. on the side. And was this, did you do this or most of it? Yeah. Oh, look at them. Oh, look. Oh wow. oh wow! Beautiful! Oh, yeah, this is uh, a good winter room, this one. It, you know, traps the light. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, Did you paint the wall on? Yeah, yeah sprayed in concrete and then painted. Oh, because I thought you just leave it as is so at night time you see a bit of sparkle here and there from the opal. No, it's, it's too dark. You know, oh. unless you paint it white. Yeah. It's pitch, pitch black in here. Lights make no effect whatsoever. So you've got to paint them white to get the difference. So was this an original mine? Mm. And just... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this was uh, opened up with a backhoe. Yeah. Uh, then we put the roof on it. Um, wow. This part here was an original mine probably dug a hundred years ago. Oh. Come on out. How cute is the electric fan? Oh, wow. I'm just oh, wow. fascinated. <laughs> Oh, you read a lot. Books. Look at the books. Oh, it keeps going. Liz? Yeah. 
Oh, how nice. This is the kitchen. It's a bit messy. No, it's not. Gosh, you should see my house. Oh, LED light. Mm -hmm. Yeah, original shop. And it goes down as well? Yeah. yeah. Ooh. How cute, very quaint. Mm -hmm. And then this one, that's still oh, not painted. This, is this supposed to be the old fireplace? No. No, that was when I had a gas fridge. Oh. So, yeah, the soot from the gas. Oh, so this one's 12 volt. Yeah, so. Off. It all runs off solar. Yeah, oh. I'll, Excellent. I'll take, I'll take a picture if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And this is the bedroom. No, this is a oh, you've got uh, the power. And I thought it's gonna. Oops. And you got a bit of. Oh, that, that's the. So, <laughs> this room in summer is quite cool. Mm -hmm. You know, when, it's, when it gets really hot. So when you say cool, what's the temperature in summer like the? Well, it'd be forty degrees outside and about twenty-four in here. So it's quite. Oh, cool. just yeah. Um, Pleasant. So more books. Yeah. Are so cute. The little nooks. Yeah, well, you know, if you want to do renovations, you just get a jackhammer out in the way. How many it's like bedrooms? I need. Hey? How many bedrooms? Only the one. Yeah. yeah. And is this where you work as well? No. No, no, no. no. He, this is where he lives. Well, That's the escape hatch. I'm on. Yeah. <laughs> no, I live in Victoria. Huh? No, but. When you um, in oh, here, mining. no, yeah. I've got to mine up the top of the hill. I yeah. That's not that's battery. Yeah, that's just a yeah. sensor light that comes yeah. on in the middle of the night. Oh, you, you've got to excellent! Get up in the middle of the night, it's pitch black in here. You need something to light yeah. the way. Yeah. yeah. You know. So. Unreal. And, and all, all LEDs, yeah. 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 Nice. Yeah. All LEDs, and it's so. warm in winter and cool yeah, in I mean, summer. You feel the difference when you. Yeah, around, outside. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So in here, it's actually quite pleasant. Yeah. yeah. This is this is unreal. Right? Carpet and everything. I know. And then <laughs> yeah. well, I can't see. <laughs> you fit everything out with all the car out, you know, cast outs from home. Yeah. You know, if you finish with it at home, you bring it yeah. up here. Yeah. yeah. So that's um, the ground goes up to about six inches to a foot of the top of that. So Hey Norm. Is that opal? <laughs> no, actually, that's a white ants track. Oh! Yeah, white ants got cut in and oh. that was all wood up there and they ate the wood away. Mm -hmm. and that was a, one of the trails. Jeez. Uh, replace it all with steel. And, yeah. Uh, but it, you know, yeah, the yeah, the, yeah. it cracks all the time, you know, the, mm. the ground moves and you get cracks mm. like mm. this and that. And you just patch them up with cement and then put a bit of paint over them. And, mm. Just in the back, there's a battery battery pack all down there. So that oh, okay. that's the solar charges yeah. all that. Yeah. Wow! So I've got Joe here with us, Hello. and we're investigating uh, a dugout. So you have gas cooker or a steel? Yeah, uh, it's yeah, gas, yeah. yeah. You have even a bread maker. I'm impressed. Yeah, well, <laughs> you got your creature's comfort. Yeah. I'll, I'll put the jug on. Soon you offer a cup of tea. I'll offer you one. Yeah. Hey. Like you here. Oh yeah, would love to. So cool. Look at the top. Not bad, Joe, eh? Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> oh look the old um fireplace. Do you still use this in winter as well, Norm? Your fireplace here? Sorry, what was that? Do you use this? Yeah. 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 Some nights it gets really cold. Well, mm. you know, nine times out of ten, I do my cooking on that. And yeah. Pretty well all the time. Oh, you got this one. Yeah, that yeah. one. Oh my that god. That one's just heating when I want it. Yeah. But that's the hot water service up there. Mm. And uh, it's, it does pretty well everything. Yeah. Way. 